Well, many of us can never forget back in 2008, a dike failed at the TVA fossil plant in Kingston, spreading ash over hundreds of acres of land and water. Now, more than five years later, crews are still cleaning up the mess that was left behind. While much of the ash has since been removed, the cleanup isn't expected to really be finished until early next year, with a total cost amounting to more than $1 billion. Now, that ash spill and how it impacted the small Kingston community is the subject of the film Blackout on Swan Pond. Here's a quick look at the documentary. Today's briefing focused heavily on the safety of the drinking water in Lone County. Now it premiered in Nashville last month and will be screened tonight as part of the Knoxville Film and Music Festival. And joining us now here in the studio with much more is the film's director, Scott Colthorpe. Thank you so much for coming in, Scott. We appreciate it. You're welcome. Th this is obviously something that many of us who live here in this community and work in this community um, care so much about. What inspired you to do a documentary on this? Well, you know, I split my time between Brooklyn, New York, and Knoxville, Tennessee. And I think a lot of my friends up there weren't even familiar with the spill, yet this is the largest industrial spill in the nation. So I think in many ways I'm not just motivated to, and to share this with my friends, but to share with the world how important this spill was and how we need to pay a little attention more attention to how we generate our electricity. I, I do think it's amazing you talk to people around the country who have never heard of this. It happened right around the holidays back in 2008 and a lot of people either weren't paying attention to the news or it wasn't getting the coverage that other disasters would normally get on national media. What do you hope this documentary ultimately will do to regulations and what kind of changes do you hope this will promote? Well, we hope, first of all, I hope that this becomes a voice for the people of Swan Pond. I mean, Swan Pond is a community that surrounds Kingston and there are, are 600 other plants in this nation with small uh, small communities that are, live in the shadow of these plants so I hope that we can give a voice the people that had to endure the impact of this bill. I also hope that is a bit of a wake-up call for other utilities and how they store the coal ash because coal ash is currently not regulated by the federal government. I think a lot of people, when they learned that after this disaster, were shocked. And I imagine you were out there in these communities talking to people. Was there anything that particularly that you were surprised to learn as you were talking to these people that were so impacted by this disaster? Well, you know, a lot of these people have grown up around the plant. Many have lived there before the plant was even, even there. In fact, uh, the stars of our documentary, Curtis and Phoebe Humphreys, were there long before the plant was there. But they've come to, to be used to it. Uh, the, the plant hires a lot of people in the community. But I, I think people don't understand, because most of us don't live in the backyards of these plants, that what sort of devastation this can have on a community. And Swan Pond, without the help of Curtis and Phoebe Humphreys, might not even be, exist today had it not been for the, the, the strength of their characters and, and the endurance of Swan Pond. Even in your documentary, even with the tremendous amount of work you put into this, can the magnitude of this really be displayed on screen? Not really. It just, you know, the average American or Tennessee Valley resident, uh, for that matter, uses about 20 pounds of coal a day. And about two pounds of that is ash. And this is stored in these 600 or so coal fired plants around the nation. And until you see 50 years of coal, which is roughly 9 million cubic yards of ash, Firsthand, I don't think you could ever understand how much electricity you use and how much coal was stored at Kingston. And the true impact it can have. All right, yeah. Scott, looking forward to the documentary debuting here in Knoxville tonight at 7 o'clock at Scruffy City Hall. Yes. Thank you so much for coming in. We appreciate it. Thank you.